basic simple passes to our feet um, on the ground because some of us, you know, aren't very tall and it's kind of hard for us to get <laughs> balls out of the air. And, um, so, so what we're saying is, can you play simple to them, right? Can you understand that you might have, you know, a few small lads up front, so anything playing up like those boys who were with us on Saturday, you know, you're playing against the, the honey monsters, weren't you? The, the two big lads at the back for the team who played Saturday. So if he was playing, or even um, Alex and um, Victor playing, anything up here, the other team's going to win. So you've got to understand that, like, don't play them high balls. Where are they going to be their best chance of beating the, the big lads on the ground? Or playing balls into into your feet in the little channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so it's understanding what they want. Yeah, yeah good, like, good. like if we're quick, you know, you know, we can get in behind. So just simple passes on the ground, or we're not as quick to our feet. We're talking about mostly when like their forward checks to a ball. Yeah. they forward, so I'm the forward. Yeah, yeah. I'm with on the bad Jackson. Line. Yeah. Jackson's ball me, so I come yeah. in here. Stay with him, come with him. and yeah. even when he gets the ball, yeah. stay with him and just force him pass it backwards. Yeah. Well, Don't let him turn. Sure. Yeah. I, I, I understand what you're saying. And these guys... Or are, communicate and tell us to yeah. to block the pass yeah. or something it's, like that. It's right, but also as well, they've got to, they've got to decide. If, do I come in here and you've got space? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Sometimes... The striker's going in there, and he's coming into you three. And it's Jackson centre half, he can shout, kill him, you take him. Yeah. And he doesn't have to come. Mm -hmm. I understand what you're saying. What you're saying is, you've got to decide do I stay tight with him, and go in there and follow him, then your mate has got to tuck around, the fullback's got to tuck around, or do I drop off and let him have it there and play backwards? So that's decisions. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. good. And for me, aggression is getting yeah, to be strong, but. He's got the ball and he's coming off, right? My impression is I stay with him, I stay with him, like you've just been talking about, stay with him, stay with him, force him back. Give him a little nudge. And that's my aggression. To now right? see it be a better word. You've got to be careful of your aggression oh. in and around the box that clever players, as soon as you are aggressive with them, they'll just go down. And you've got to be careful, so you've got to understand, you know. <coughs> I know I know what I mean. Aggression, go and attack the balls in your box for the goalkeeper. Help the goalkeeper. Go and attack. Yeah, that kind of aggression. Yeah, not not kicking people. Good, good. I think a big part of the game is rhythm, and a lot of the rhythm starts with the defense. And so, uh, one person, if if I'm checking and he just passes me and I pass it back, it just gets a rhythm going in the flow of the game. It just, it just starts everyone, you know, get it gets uh, so does everyone just the pace of the game, you just move the ball quickly. When do they do it? Where do they do it? And how do they do it? When, where, and how. Yeah. So it's all right. You know, when you said to go, you think the fullback should come on, but I don't understand that. There's a point made today in the train at Bradford where everyone's going forward. Um, the fullbacks are going forward, and there's still there's three strikers up there and only two defenders. So you've got to understand when, <coughs> when, where, and how to do it. Yeah. Good, good. The, the pleasing thing for me is. You know, you understand the game in the classroom. But it's putting what you understand in here, that like you wrote down on bits of paper, into practice in the field. And then, so you know it all, which is good, but it's putting it into practice. And when each group was talking, I just wrote down what I try and teach you. I mean, I haven't been here very long and I haven't got here every day like I should have. And if that changes, then we'll, we'll get to these points every day. But, them things. Everybody here has talked about these. Technical ability. We all spoke about passing, hit the strikers, yeah? Spoke about yeah, everybody, midfield, defenders, everybody spoke about that. Awareness. We all spoke about that. Awareness of what's happening around you. Awareness. We spoke about getting back into shape. Defenders, yeah? So that's everybody being aware that the opposition have got the ball in a certain area where we're going to be. No shape. Support, support play with the ball. When 
we have the ball, where do you support? There's Peter Sky, or the full back Sky, where can you support? You see a couple of little things are scoring at Bradford where full back Sky is, or the centre half Sky is here, the full back screaming for where Dylan is, um, Dougie is, sorry, but Dylan's in between. So he's screaming, not you, but the other Bradford screaming for it, but I can see from just that, that pass is not on. You might be 10 yards outside and he's going, oh, tripping over his head. So support, the movement of sport about when you have the ball, the movement running, runs off the ball. When you haven't got it, you just spoke about Jay when tracking back. Jay, yeah? yeah? When you haven't got the ball and the opposition moves past you. Angles, the big one you've all spoken about as well, communication. That all goes down to when, where and how. Awareness, support, movement, angles, communication, technical. When, where and how do we do it all? Yeah? Good.